Hi, my name is Frank Valentik, Director and Buyer's Advocate at Advantage Property Consulting. Today, we're going to look at how you go about valuing a property because we note that a lot of buyers overpay because they don't do the proper due diligence and research at comparable sales. So there are a number of ways to value a property and basically as buyers, advocates and also valuers follow the same methodology, we look at two different methods. One is called the summation method. So the, the way we go about that method is we look firstly at the land value in the area. So we look at what the land is valued at per square metre. So we use an example, there's a house in Elwood in John Street. The land size is 400 square metres and in Elwood you're paying about $5,000 a square metre. So the land value there is $2 million. Then what we do is we add what the building value will be, what the improvements are on the property. So use that example in John Street, the property was renovated about 10 years ago, they spent 500,000 on the renovation and then you depreciate that renovation at 2.5% a year, so depreciated 25%, 125,000 comes off the building value, so that building now is only worth 375,000. We add that to the land value to get a total value of around 2,375,000. Then what we do is we cross-check that against the comparable sales values. So then we'll start to look at similar four bedroom, two bathroom houses like John Street in Elwood in the area that are on similar size blocks of 400 square meters. When we do that analysis, we find that most of those properties are selling for between about 2.2 and about 2.5 million, which is matching in and checking well with our summation method. So that's the way you go about valuing a property. You basically do the first method, which is the summation method, adding the land value and the building value, and then it'll give you a total value. And then you cross check that against other comparable sales in the area. So really important to get the data, use a buyer's advocate um, who's got access to a lot of the data, or you can also pay for a sworn valuation, which is a great investment, six, $700, to make sure you get it right. Um, you can also access data from Property Data Online, RP Data, and get as much information as you can about land sizes, about accommodation, how many bedrooms, uh, because if you get it wrong, uh, the bank could value that property at uh, 2.1 million, you've paid 2.4, you've got it wrong, the bank won't give you the extra funds, you'll have to come up with that out of your own pocket or lose your deposit. Hope that helps you when you're valuing properties. Uh, we see a lot of buyers making mistakes without using the proper methodology of looking at what properties are worth. Please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management group lock purchases, as well as subscribing to our market updates. We'll see you next time.